Okay, we got us a doll. Let's come out. She's pretty far away, though. She's a pretty one. She's at the place where I come in at. three does go down about 350 yards out and anyway I was hoping the buck was chasing them because they were moving along pretty good but uh, they just continued to go on and no buck ever popped out so still doing the waiting game you know how it goes when you deer hunt uh, sometimes you just see a whole bunch of them and but other times it's just hours in between so uh, I'm just enjoying myself to pieces here though I love being in the outdoors and uh, that beautiful scenery all around me and able to relax a little bit and read my Sports of Field magazine and uh, it's having a pretty good time so it was pretty cold today so I went ahead and brought my big hat and I tell you what I'm toasty yep but uh, still doing some hunting and uh, hopefully we'll get a nice buck uh, he's got a lot of them running around here he said he saw what about eight of them uh, day before yesterday so yesterday I saw one really nice one his antlers were probably 12 14 inches high and he came out at least six inches on each side of his ears so uh, real real big body but haven't seen anything but three O's today so uh, got in here extra early because I was seeing the buck uh, well I saw him that one time at seven in the morning and uh, saw two does then too, so I thought, well, I'll just beat them to the punch and got here at dark, and uh, nothing showed up this morning. So I saw the three does probably about uh, 10 o'clock this morning, so I could have slept in. <laughs> but anyway, it's nice to get out here, and uh, it's very enjoyable. And who knows, you know, sometimes when you're out hunting, uh, you might get discouraged or whatever because you don't see nothing for hours, but then something nice pops in front of you and you know uh, so you just never know what's going to come through your neck of the woods and you just got to be ready at all times that's what they call it hunting but let's continue on here and hopefully we'll have some deer pop up still haven't figured out if I want to get a uh, doe another doe with my second tag or if I I want to wait on a buck you know uh, probably won't have much time to hunt so part of me saying go ahead and get the dough and that way I'll have more meat which uh, I think that's a good decision but uh, you know then too I'd love to get me a buck this year so uh, usually just get a couple does and I'm happy so we'll see if a buck pops out in front of me I'll get him uh, if I'm able to and if a doe pops out why you know there's more meat too so we'll just see what the Lord brings in front of me here Okay, well, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in a bit. Well, my uh, sister texted me from Texas, and uh, while I was reading her text, a nice buck came by, antlers probably 10 inches, and uh, I heard something next to me, and I look up, and there he was walking by, and by the time I got my gun up, he was in the woods and started trotting off, so... Thanks, sis. <laughs> ah, boy, just that one moment. Isn't that amazing? Sit here all day long and get a text and read it and have that happen in that moment. But some of you know my luck.
because you've got the same. I uh, just had a doe come running down the hill and hang a left about 100 yards out. So uh, I'm kind of keeping my eye peeled there. Hopefully it's a buck chasing her. But uh, other than that, absolutely no activity. You know, it's been very quiet. Usually this field is filled up uh, pretty good with deer. And as a matter of fact, he keeps a log here, which I thought was pretty interesting. That's how many deer he's seen each day. Uh, got seven the first day, four the next, eleven the next, ten the next, twenty-three, eleven, nine, and twelve. So the uh, looks like the worst day he's seen four. Now I've already seen uh, I've already seen three does this morning. And I've seen the buck walk by, and then I saw the doe run by there, so technically that's five. But uh, I don't know, nothing grazing out in the field where I can get my scope on it, though. So hopefully, uh, you know, something will pop up. So stick with me. Let me find a light here. Okay, this is my big buck I just shot. He's a whopper. He's a uh, ten pointer. Good gravy. And then if you count the stickers, he's 15. <laughs> he's a big one, that's for sure. He's a big body deer, too. He looks to be. 200 or more. There's my boot. I mean, golly, look at that. It's a size 10 and a half. He's almost two boots from his bottom of his stomach to his back. Look at how big his rear is. In the front of his leg. Good night. Got him with my 308 Savage. Eleven twenty fifteen. Thank you, Lord. Got it.